Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Girardi, CEO of ProEst, and welcome to Tech Talk. This month we're talking about items. Really the heart of our system is the cost item. I'm going to begin by going down to an estimate. So there's also a couple of really neat uh, enhancements we just made with V17, which was promoted this past weekend. Uh, what, what we did is, as I hover over an item, you will see that a lot of the controls to get into an item are now moved to the left. You see over here, we have the edit, the flag, and the comment on the left. And on the far right, we have the delete. So hopefully we can distinguish between those and not you know, hit the, hit the delete when we're trying to get to the edit icon. So these different options over here on the left, if I needed to flag an item for any reason to have someone else in the system review it, that's what the flag is for. The comment is for, oh, I could add check costing here, exit here, and now there's a bubble of a comment on there, right? So again, it's for you know being in a multi-user environment, it's how do we collaborate with other colleagues that are working on the same estimate. So I am going to get right into an item here. So I'm going to go down to this bottom item, click edit, and um, Again, the real heart of the system is, is how things are calculated. How do we come up with the costs? So this particular item is a wire mesh. I have 5,000 square feet. As I look down at the cost types, material, labor, sub-equipment, and other, I click on material, and you'll see that the headings over here have just changed to basically relate to material. So I have cost, of course. Then I have something we call our factor, and that's if you need to you know, calculate or convert from a takeoff quantity or takeoff unit like square foot in this case to how do you order the material maybe per roll so as an example i can come in here and put in 2000 square feet per roll and now based off 5000 square feet i've got a multiplier to tell me i need to order 2.5 rolls now i could round that up to the nearest roll i could put a waste factor on that and let me show you here I put a waste factor, bumped it to 275, and then the rounding can pull it up to the next whole roll. I could even put a part number and a UPC code on there as well. So if you wanted to track that at the part number level, that ability is there as well. So I have a, as I move down to the other cost types, I click on labor. Uh, I quickly see there's a cost in here. There's a carpenter assigned to this item. There's also a productivity. So what this is showing us is 250 square feet per hour to install this material, right? And when we put that productivity, it automatically generates labor hours, man hours, man days, and crew days. Okay, moving down the subcontractor is a straight unit cost. So if I need to put a straight unit cost, I could. The equipment works in a similar fashion than the um, labor, where I can pick a piece of equipment and put a rate on it. So maybe it's for every we can do a thousand square feet per hour. Okay, so based off 5,000 square feet, it tell me how many equipment hours are needed on this particular item. And then the last cost type is called other, and that's normally for an admin cost. You might put fuel consumption in there, things like that. Um, one thing to also note is because we are in a multi-user environment, if I come in and I change the cost here, everything I do at a user level is tracked. Right? So in a multi-user environment, multiple people working on the same estimate at the same time, it's important to know who did what. So as I go down here and I click on the audit trail, I quickly see, you know, 624 at 2 o'clock Pacific, Jeff Girardi changed the material cost from $0.35 cents to $0.50 cents per square foot. Right? I also changed the productivity for equipment to nothing, from nothing to um, 1,000. All right, so there's a tracking of every single item within the system, all changes that are made as well, which is really important when you're in a multi-user environment. Uh, other thing I want to point out is any of the fields that are listed here, like as an example, the labor productivity. If you want this available at the estimate sheet, the last screen I was on, you can add that column. So that's where I'm going to end. I'm going to close this screen and just let you know that all the columns that are listed here, material cost, labor cost, 
you can add to this. So anything that's on that edit screen that's important for you to see in a column type view, uh, you can go up to the company setup and change the layout of this. So you control exactly what information is displayed in the column form. So that's it for this month's Tech Talk. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, the item being the heart of our system, it's where all the calculations, all the costings done. Uh, hope you enjoy the new V17 changes we just made and look forward to more feature requests so we can continue to enhance and evolve our system. That's it for this month. Thank you very much. Have a great month. Bye-bye.